So a very strong story, the residual value which of course relates back directly to the quality story. Also related to quality is sales satisfaction. We are the third most improved brand in SSI, which puts our SSI scores ahead of those at Toyota, Honda, Audi, and Nissan. Brands that score better than us in the phone survey, that we're actually beating in SSI. And among non-luxury brands, we were the second highest scoring Asian brand, and if you consider the recent partnership we formed with Volkswagen, you could say the highest scoring German brand. But very good SSI results. So that's some of the story there. Now what about value? This is actually something we've always been known to do, but I think we're enriching it dramatically with the more desirable, better styled, better equipped vehicles we're now launching. Grand Vitara, as a reminder, is the most off-road capable SUV you can buy starting at under 20,000, and is the most affordable SUV in America with standard navigation. Recognizing this, Edmunds.com noted it as one of the top 10 most affordable SUVs. SX4 was launched as and remains America's most affordable car with all-wheel drive. It's also America's most affordable car with standard navigation. The New England Motor Press Association gave it its Yankee Value Award. MSNAutos.com named it a top 10 new car for less than 15,000. And Forbes acknowledged SX4's lineup as the most fuel efficient cars for the buck. So a very strong value story across the line for SX4. Kizashi, already recognized by Evans.com as a top recommended vehicle for under $20,000. And just as a reminder, standard equipment on this vehicle, which starts at $19,000, includes push button start, dual zone automatic climate control, a nine speaker audio system with redundant steering wheel controls, eight airbags, electronic stability control, ABS, projector beam headlamps, split rear seats that also have a ski pass through and rear HVAC fence. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The point is we have a very, very strong equipment story on the Kizashi and people probably don't expect it from Suzuki. What about performance? Continuing on through these categories. Off-road performance is something we've been known for for years, many, many years, as you can see to your left. Grand Vitara carries this heritage forward today. The Texas Auto Riders Association have recognized it as Compact SUV of the Year. TSN Motoring gave it their 09 award for best SUV of the year. Meanwhile, Equator was recognized by Peterson's Four Wheel and Off-Road at launch as 4x4 of the year and remains one of the most off-road capable pieces of hardware you can buy in that category. Meanwhile, On-Road, which is certainly what our bikes are known for with bikes like the Hayabusa and the Gixxer, the SX4 now has an all-new 2-liter variable valve timing four-cylinder with 150 horsepower that's also more efficient and cleaner than the previous SX4 motor. This car offers a power-to-weight ratio competitive with a Mazda 3 or a Golf, and now offers an all-new six-speed manual transmission or a CVT with paddle shift. So all the things that a performance buyer would want. While the Kazashi has a 2.4-liter version of that same motor with 185 horsepower, a six-speed manual available in a mid-size sedan or CVT with paddle shift once again. High performance KYB shocks standard and an advanced all wheel drive system available. Very strong performance credentials we believe. Now, design, of course, is always a little more subjective. And we understand that everyone loves their own child. But do take a look at the history we have in the design area, whether it be off road vehicles, whether it be motorcycles, or whether it be interesting one offs like the Cappuccino, or most importantly, now, the Kazashi as a flagship for our design prowess. We think we have a very strong design statement, and we think we have it in all the different categories we compete. The question for you is how many of the vehicles on the screen can you name? I'll just give away one of them, which is our Wagon R, best-selling vehicle in Japan for the last five years, over here on your left. So, green, next category on the Consumer Report Survey. Remember, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has named Suzuki above average, and we are listed actually as the second most fuel efficient car maker in America based on corporate average fuel economy standards at 29.7 miles per gallon that ties us with Honda. We're also more environmentally friendly in many of the categories we compete than key facing competitors, for example, in a true off-road capable compact utility. If you put Grand Vitara against an FJ Cruiser or a Forerunner, you'll find we're much more efficient. In Japan, we build 
more fuel efficient K cars than anyone else in the country. And we've shown at various global auto shows around the world a variety of investigations going into future uh, environmental technology like a hybrid version of the SX4 and a plug-in hybrid version of the Swift. Also, as I'm sure you're aware, we've recently formed a partnership with Volkswagen, our much taller friends who are going to work with us on greener technology for global application. So there's a lot of activity on the green side as well. And last, innovation or technology. I'll just, just touch briefly on the fact that over 100 years, we not only started out as a loom company and evolved into a motorcycle and ATV and auto and SUV company, but we helped create the K-Car category in 1955 in Japan with the Suzu Light. It's up here in the upper left, upper right hand side of the screen. Um, if you've never seen a Suzu Light, it's quite an accomplishment for its day and the K-Class still dominates Japan today. We also debuted the LJ20 class of SUV, which this is a member of in 1970, which was really the leading edge of the notion of consumers buying SUVs. SUVs were not really a category until after 1970. And by the way, just as a sidebar, we are celebrating 25 years selling cars here in the U.S. as well. On the motorcycle side, any of you who follow motorcycles know us. For a couple of things in particular, certainly the GSX-R series is well recognized as a technological leader and a performance leader. And don't forget that Suzuki invented the quad segment. There were no four-wheelers. Everyone was on three-wheelers or motorcycles until Suzuki came along with the LT125. And on the marine side, those who know us have great respect for our product. We were the first to get to 300 horsepower in a four-stroke configuration. So there's quite a lot of technology and innovation behind our brand. And today on the automotive side, that includes four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive on every main plate we sell. I don't know how many of your readers or listeners or viewers realize this, but with Grand Vitara offering everything from a four-wheel four drive with a neutral position for flat towing to sx 4s three-mode intelligent all-wheel drive, Equator's uh, shift on the fly part-time four-wheel drive, and now Kazashi's latest evolution of intelligent all-wheel drive which includes an on-off button for fuel economy. We really have a strong all-wheel drive story that I think most people don't know about yet. So we hope you'll help us tell it. Off-road, our heritage goes way back to 1970 with the FJ, or LJ series to uh, concepts more recently like this Dune concept we built off the Grand Vitara. And it's an area where we think we have huge credibility. Today, people are still driving 20-year-old Samurais on the weekends off-road. This is not what you do with a lot of competitors, 20-year-old off-road vehicles. But it's what people are doing with our 20-year-old off-road vehicles. So we think we have huge credibility in the off-road area. Now, as we've migrated towards this newer generation of product that I began talking about, we've seen a big shift in our customer base, and that's really the transition we're going through right now. Not just the economic transition that the whole industry is going through, but a consumer transition related to our product transition. We call our target Confident Explorers. You've heard me talk about them before. We call the Suzuki lifestyle that our product enables traveling light and living fully. And I'm just going to touch briefly on how we're marketing to these people. Now, you saw the opening video. I suppose we all know now that TV is dead, but actually it's been declared dead for over 50 years. We do think TV still has a role in our mix, along with streaming. And although it certainly is a lesser role than it had in the past, we have some TV, and I'd like to show you one of the spots we're launching with um, over the next few months, and then I'll give you a sneak preview of yet another. So please take a look at this uh, Kazashi introductory spot. Remember when sleek, finely crafted performance sedans were just for rich guys with money to burn? Well, those days are officially over. Presenting Kazashi from Suzuki, class leading standard horsepower and available all wheel drive at a price everyone can appreciate. That's brought to us by our friends at Silk Linen Partners. I know some of them are here in the audience with us today, so we thank them. That is sort of an introductory spot, as I mentioned, but it will be followed up in markets like Chicago, where the snow always comes knocking, with uh, the introduction of a character we think you'll find quite entertaining soon, uh, who can only be taken on by cars with all-wheel drive. 
Here's a sneak preview of the fella, and uh, by the time we meet next, I'll be able to show you what happens when he tries to take on the Kazashi with all-wheel drive. This does translate into uh, outdoor. Suzuki is getting involved in outdoor. You can see how our wicked snowman friend translates into uh, an outdoor board. And then if you live somewhere that's always warm and sunny, like we do, uh, we also are playing up all the great accolades I showed you at the beginning in our outdoor campaign. Here we know the time.com quote, because Ash is one of the most exciting cars of 2010. Meanwhile, we are continuing a multi-year involvement with surfing. We think the surfing lifestyle and the surfing sport fits very well with our Confident Explorers Travel Light Live Fully lifestyle. We've sponsored